zakázaný já, protože je teda jednak no, hrozně pevný, jako by má vysokou tvrdost, takhle má vysokou tvrdost, má hrdiční prales, nebo smíšený prales, takže už, už jsme tady, už jsme v Teotihuacánu, Teotihuacán znamená... The holy city of Teotihuacan, the place where the gods were created, is situated some 50 kilometers northeast of Mexico City. Built between the 1st and 7th centuries AAD, it is characterized by the vast size of its monuments, in particular, the Temple of Quetzalcoatl and the Pyramids of the Sun and the Moon, laid out on geometric and symbolic principles. As one of the most powerful cultural centers in Mesoamerica, Teotihuacan extended its cultural and artistic influence throughout the region and beyond. The Temple of the Feathered Serpent is the third largest pyramid at Teotihuacan, a pre-Columbian site in central Mexico. This structure is notable partly due to the discovery in the 1980s of more than a hundred possibly sacrificial victims found buried beneath the structure. The Temple of the Feathered Serpent is located at the southern end of the Avenue of the Dead, Teotihuacan's main thoroughfare, within the Citadel complex. The Citadel is a structure with high walls and a large courtyard surrounding the temple. The Citadel courtyard is massive enough that it could house the entire adult population within its walls, which was estimated to be 100,000 people max. The Feathered Serpent Pyramid is a six-level step pyramid built in the Talatablero style. The outside edges of each level are decorated with feathered serpent heads alternating with those of another snake-like creature, often identified as Tlaloc. In the eyes of these figures there is a spot for obsidian glass to be put in, so when the light hits, its eyes would glimmer. The Temple of Quetzalcoatl is richly decorated with reliefs representing the god Tlaloc and the feathered serpent, which symbolizes the waters of the earth. Documented Teotihuacan marine shell horns are located at predominant places, such as burials of high-ranking persons in the Pyramid of the Moon or elaborate offerings with twenty or more instruments such as in the tunnel beneath the Temple of the Feathered Serpent. The horns from these contexts are obtained from the coasts of the Caribbean Sea, some of which show engravings related to iconographic conventions of the Maya area and Oaxaca. There are over 2,000 apartment compounds at Teotihuacan. Although each one has a unique layout. There is usually a single doorway in the stone outer wall. Entrances lead to a central open courtyard, which typically has some kind of temple or shrine or altar. Passages lead out from this to the individual apartments, which usually consist of a small open courtyard surrounded by rooms with porches. The courtyards are built at a lower level than the other rooms and they are drained to the outside by pipes and channels under the floors. The Teotihuacan apartment buildings are unusual in two ways. 
First, they are single-story structures. And second, each household had quite a bit of space, including a courtyard and several rooms with porches facing the courtyard. So these do not look like hasty buildings or conversions to accommodate an influx of new urbanites. They are spacious and open dwellings. The Pyramid of the Sun is the largest building in Teotihuacan, and one of the largest in Mesoamerica. It is believed to have been constructed about 200 CE. Found along the Avenue of the Dead, in between the Pyramid of the Moon and the Citadela, and in the shadow of the mountain Cerro Gordo, the pyramid is part of a large complex in the heart of the city. The name Pyramid of the Sun comes from the Aztecs, who visited the city of Teotihuacan centuries after it was abandoned, the name given to the pyramid by the Teotihuacanos is unknown. It was constructed in two phases. The first construction stage, around 200 CE, brought the pyramid to nearly the size it is today. The second round of construction resulted in its completed size of 225 meters across and 75 meters high, making it the third largest pyramid in the world though still just over half the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza, 146 meters. The Pyramid of the Moon is the second largest pyramid in Mesoamerica, after the Pyramid of the Sun, and located in modern-day San Martín de los Pyramides. It is found in the western part of the ancient city of Teotihuacan and mimics the contours of the mountain Cerro Gordo, just north of the site. The pyramid's construction between 100 and 450 AD completed the bilateral symmetry of the temple complex. The pyramid is located at the end of the Avenue of the Dead, connected by a staircase, and was used as a stage for performing ritual sacrifices of animals and humans upon. It was also a burial ground for sacrificial victims. Opposite the Great Goddess's Altar is the Plaza of the Moon. The plaza contains a central altar and an original construction with internal divisions, consisting of four rectangular and diagonal bodies that formed what is known as the Teotihuacan Cross. Restaurante Mi Mexico Lindo Teotihuacan, tourist restaurant. Not popular within locals. Puebla is a city in east-central Mexico, southeast of Mexico City. It's known for its culinary history, colonial architecture, and pottery. The painted Talavera tiles adorning numerous buildings are locally produced. The Renaissancera Puebla Cathedral has tall bell towers and overlooks the central square, the Zocalo. Museo Amparo offers an extensive display of pre-Hispanic art, such as ceramics and mural fragments. The Basilica Cathedral of Puebla, as the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception is known according to its Marian invocation, is the Episcopal See of the Archdiocese of Puebla de Los Angeles. It is one of the most important buildings in the historic center of Puebla declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Salerosa. 
besar tus labios quisiera, besar tus labios quisiera. The Convent Church of Santo Domingo de Guzmán is a Roman Catholic church within the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Puebla de Los Angeles, with the Archangel Michael as its patron saint. Attached to it is the Chapel of the Rosario, an example of new Spanish Baroque, considered in its time to be the eighth wonder of the world. They are so well known in Mexico that they are simply called camotes de Puebla, sweet potatoes from Puebla, and it is implied that refers to the prepared sweets, not the vegetable roots. Tower Dome, San Cristobal Church Templo de San Cristobal, Historic Puebla, Mexico. Built in 1600 to 1700 1700s. Cantona is a Mesoamerican archaeological site in Mexico. It is located between 2,450 and 2,600 meters above sea level in the state of Puebla, on the border with the state of Veracruz. Cantona was a walled, fortified city with a high level of urbanization, probably founded by all Mexicalanca groups within the late classical period. Its original inhabitants are unknown. Cantona sat astride an old trading route between the Gulf Coast and the Central Highlands and was a prominent Mesoamerican city between 600 and 1000 CE. It was abandoned after AD 1050. The pre-Columbian settlement area occupies approximately 12 square kilometers, distributed in three units, of which the largest is at the south, with a surface of 5 square kilometers surface. In Cantona 24 ballgame courts have been discovered, as well as a series of small pyramids. The site comprises a road network with over 500 cobblestone causeways, more than 3,000 individual patios, residences, and an elaborate acropolis with multiple ceremonial buildings and temples. 
these impressive buildings were constructed with carved stones, one atop the other, without any stucco or cement mortar. Its population is estimated at about 80,000 inhabitants at its peak. It is believed that trade was an important activity. The first avenue is 563 meters in length. Cantona was contemporary of Teotihuacan. Yo no sé, yo no sé si volveré a querer, yo no sé, yo no sé, yo no sé si volveré a besar, yo no sé, yo no sé. He querido volver a vivir la pasión y el calor de otro amor, de otro amor que me hiciera sentir, que me hiciera feliz como ayer lo fui. ¿Quién será la que me quiera a mí? ¿Quién será? Será, yo no sé si la podré encontrar, yo no sé, yo no sé. ¿Quién será la que me quiera a mí? ¿Quién será? ¿Quién será? ¿Quién será la que me dé su amor? Yo no sé, yo no sé. Zalapa is the capital city of the Mexican state of Veracruz. It's ringed by volcanoes and cloud forest. The Museo de Antropologia in the city's northwest displays exhibits from many Mexican civilizations. Colonial buildings include the Baroque Cathedral Metropolitana de la Immaculada Concepción de Zalapa with its yellow facade. The nearby Parque Juarez offers views of Mexico's highest mountain, Pico de Orizaba. Mexico lindo y querido, si muero lejos de ti, que digan que estoy. Pico de Orizaba, also known as Sitlautepetl, is an active stratovolcano the highest mountain in Mexico and third highest in North America, after Denali of Alaska and Mount Logan of Canada. It rises 5,636 meters above sea level in the eastern end of the Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, on the border between the states of Veracruz and Puebla. The volcano is currently dormant but not extinct, with the last eruption taking place during the 19th century. It is the second most prominent volcanic peak in the world after Mount Kilimanjaro. De la guitarra mía al despertar la mañana quiere cantar su alegría a mi tierra mexicana. Yo le canto a tus volcanes, a tus praderas y flores que son como talismanes del amor. Copec is located in the central region of the Mexican state of Veracruz. Its altitude is 1,200 meters. The Mexican census of 2020 reported a population of 55,720 in the city. Copec is often called the coffee capital of Mexico. The name Copec comes from the Nahuatl Cotal, Serpent, and Tepetl, Hill, or the Hill of the Snakes. Copec was named of the Pueblo Magico in 2006. What is the best month and how to climb Pico de Orizaba? The ascent of Pico de Orizaba is similar to climbing MTL Bruce and the ideal climbing months are late November to March. The climb up Pico de Orizaba starts with an exciting jeep ride that takes you to camp at the Piedra Grande hut perched at 4200 m. 
From Pico de Orizaba you can continue downhill to Gamma Ray Observatory south and further ahead with Jeep or on foot to Santa Cruz Texmalaquila. Coatpec has over 300 buildings catalogued as historic monuments. Most of them are old family houses with strong Spanish influence, with a central garden yard where the surrounding rooms converge. The street windows are decorated with ironwork railings, while the hallways are guarded by big carved wood gates. Among the public buildings the town hall, the old canonal school and several churches stand out by themselves. Main is the Church of Esti. Jerome, dated back to the colonial era. The others were erected during the 19th century. At a cool elevation of 1,220 meters, the Veracruz uplands have the perfect climate for growing Mexican coffee. At the Cotepec Coffee Museum, you can learn from its rich history in this part of Mexico to its production. Plus, you can taste coffee samples and take some local beans home with you. In case you or your partner does not drink coffee take your tea bag with you. The Cotepec Coffee Museum friendly staff might provide you with a cup with warm water. Specialty tea awareness in Mexico is something that just started. Black teas are known from tea bags, but good quality black teas like Darjeeling do not have much popularity yet. Go!